So is there a better place to think about climbing than climbing up to the lighthouse or Cap de Fermentor in Mallorca? I don't think so. I think this is my favourite ride. I'm David and this is Forest Fellow. So unfortunately there's no magic bullets or easy thing you can do to improve. It all takes a bit of time and effort, but it's well worth it. The pros climb at maybe six watts a kilo, which is an amazing effort and amount. For me, that would be like doing 420, 430 watts up a climb, which is absolutely ridiculous. But if we could climb at three watts a kilo, so for me that's 210, or maybe three and a half watts a kilo, something like 250 watts, you know, that'd be pretty good going. So how can you get better? Well, keep watching the video to find out. So the first thing is it really is all about your aerobic fitness. The fitter you are aerobically, the better you're going to do. Climbing is all about clearing lactate and hopefully clearing lactate at a fast level, fast rate. And to do that, you need a really big base. You need lots of healthy mitochondria. And the best way really to develop that is to do, or the most sustainable way, is to do zone two training. With zone two, it's easily repeatable. It doesn't tire you out too much and you can get a lot of aerobic benefits from doing it. So probably the first thing you should do is build a big base, do lots of zone two training, and that will help. Next thing you can do is lose weight. Obviously, if you lose weight, your watts a kilo go up. So every bit of weight you can lose is going to help you climb a bit more efficiently. And it's far easier and cheaper to lose weight yourself rather than buy a lighter bike. Saving 500 grams on a bike could cost you thousands of pounds or dollars losing weight could cost you nothing. In fact, you might save money. And finally, what you need to do is increase your power. So by doing VO2 max intervals, threshold intervals, they will gradually increase your power combined with loss of weight, and a big aerobic base is going to make you a stronger climber. Over and unders are a good interval to do. We're just right under threshold for a minute or two and then over for a minute or two. If you're finding this video useful don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. Another thing you can do with intervals is build up the length of them. So if you're doing two three minute VO2 max intervals you could try stretching those out to five minutes 
if you're doing more threshold intervals, you could stretch those out. So maybe start at five minute threshold intervals, either heart rate or power, followed by gradually doing 10 minute, stretching out to 10 minute intervals and so on. Doing maybe three times 15 minutes at your threshold or your sort of desired climbing power. Because on some climbs, even here in Mallorca, they can be quite long. The Puig Mayor is 14 kilometers at about 6%. And that takes anywhere from, well, the pros do it in half an hour, but for people like me, an hour to an hour and a half going up there. So if you've practiced longer intervals, that's gonna help you holding that power longer on climbs. Another bonus tip is going to the small ring. Not sure why I was in the big ring. And as I said, there's no quick, easy fix for climbing. But if you follow those three basic guidelines, it's gonna help you. The only other thing you can do, which can make a difference, is change your gearing. On my bike, I've got a compact at the front, 50-34, and a 11 to 34 cassette so the lowest gear is very low and that has been useful here in Mallorca so I hope you found the video useful if you've got any ideas or comments about climbing don't forget to drop them in the comments below and until next time see you soon